Hi, I'm Shannon, here to tell you a little bit about the most awesome tool, the tool that's gonna go to all of your projects and really take you into that next level of feeling super cool when you enter with it in your hand. So let's talk about the cordless brad nailer. Let's talk about all the features and how to use it safely and properly. So welcome to Ryobi Tools 101. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're the first to see videos on DIY tips, product announcements, tool tips, and so much more. Now when it comes to brad nailers, they are awesome for things that you're doing like trim or molding, and here's why. They use brad nails. Now brad nails have a little bit of a smaller head, you'll notice, than a regular nail. And that's because nails are really aggressive and strong if you're building something that requires that stability. I love the brad nailer because I can use it on trim and molding where I know that's gonna stick and it's not gonna require it to be super strong with nails and hammer. Let's talk about an 18 gauge nail and what that means. So 18 gauge is referring to how thick the nail is. It's great because these nails are much thinner than a typical nail and they hide really well when you're doing things like trimming or molding. What you'll love about your brad nailer is that it allows you to freely move around doing your projects. You're not attached to a cord and a hose or an air compressor because this works with airstrike technology. And that means that the air is actually being sucked into the cylinder and then it's powering that nail out through into your material. That is something that I find really useful and saves me a lot of time and energy and a lot of noise. When you're ready to actually use the brad nailer, you're gonna make sure that your tip is in contact with your material and you're gonna give that a little push and then pull your trigger. It's not going to engage the brad nailer unless you're actually making contact and pushing against it. Sometimes you don't want that nail going in super deep or sometimes it's just sticking out a little too much and that's where your air pressure adjustment dial is gonna come in play. So you've got a couple different dials and I do think that you're just gonna start making adjustments as you're doing projects. So get yourself a practice material piece of wood or whatever material you're using and do a couple different adjustments, see where your nail ends up, but it just depends on what you're making and what you want that nail to do. You might want it to go a little further in, you might want it to stick out a little bit, but that's how you're gonna achieve that. Now don't panic, if one of your brad nails gets jammed, you have a tool-free jam release that's gonna allow you to simply open it up, pull that jam nail out, and close it back up and get back to work. You're gonna love the feature of the non-marring tip, and that's gonna prevent you from doing any damage to your material. Your brad nailer also has an LED work light, and that's great because if you're working in any low light situations, you know that the minute you use your brad nailer, it's gonna shoot you some light. Before using your brad nailer, you wanna make sure that you have safety glasses on. If you're making any adjustments or adding nails, make sure that your battery is completely removed. To load the nails, press the bottom at the end of your magazine and open it up. You're going to stick your nails in there and make sure that they're flushed all the way against the front. A lot of times I see people not loading it right and the nail is not pressed completely against the front and it's not gonna pick that nail up. So when you do load it, make sure you're doing so that your nails fit nice and tightly in there against the front of the magazine. If your brad nailer is almost out of nails, you're going to have what's called the dry fire lockout and that's gonna prevent you from driving blanks and ruining your material. If your brad nailer suddenly stops working, let's go through a couple troubleshooting tips. First, you wanna to check to see if your nails are completely full in the magazine. If they are, double check that none of them are jammed by using your tool-free jam release. If it continues to frequently jam, check to see that you're using the right size gauge. If you're using your brad nailer and it begins to flash your light, then you wanna double check that your battery is fully charged. Go ahead and recharge, take a break, and then get right back to work. Your brad nailer can easily become one of your favorite tools, but be sure to read your operator's manual for any warnings or safety tips. Now get out there and find some projects that you can do with your new brad nailer. Thanks for joining us. Hey Ryobi Nation, thanks for tuning into this episode of Tools 101. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe and comment below. Let us know what projects you wanna hear more about and what you're working on in your own homes. So let's get out there and build together.